Hey guys, what's up? I'm Heyman. Welcome back to my channel. So in this series of video, I'm going to talk about what is interactive email and how it's going to replace old fashioned static email. So we'll be gradually developing a small project on interactive email. So stick with me. So without further ado, let's get started. So now what is interactive email? In this email technique, we can interact with the email content and take multiple desired actions. We can submit our responses and take the confirmation message back in the email client itself without leaving the email client. This is amazing because it provides more engagement and uh, it's a fun for the customer. So every company is uh, striving towards it. Now let's look at the behavior of old fashioned email for survey or marketing purpose so that later we can easily compare our solution. I received this email from Indigo. They want to take my feedback. So if I click nine, then they are opening a new tab and redirecting me to a different web application. Let's take another example of Amazon. I got this email from Amazon. If I click on this button, I'll be redirecting again to a new tab. So we are solving this problem with interactive email. I have already sent an interactive email to our customer. Before interacting with the email content first, let's verify the previous feedback submission. So this is the Salesforce platform where our customers feedback will be stored and through this list view we can see all the feedbacks. We'll talk about all the things in detail and develop it together. For now we'll refresh it and see how many responses we have. We have only one response. Now let's go back to email and try to submit the feedback on behalf of a customer. If a customer is a detractor, say customer choose the option between 0 to 6, that means he or she is not happy, then we may wanna ask other questions to know what is wrong with our services. After filling the feedback, customer wants to submit it. If you notice here, response is getting submitted and it got submitted successfully without leaving the Gmail client. Let's verify the response which we have submitted. Now we'll go to the Salesforce platform and hit refresh. We got two responses and second one we just submitted. So this kind of interactivity to display one component on the basis of specific choices plus in-app response submission and getting the confirmation message back. So this kind of things can be achieved only through interactive emails, not with old static emails. If you wanted to explore more about interactive email, then I have provided some good links in the description. For more insights, you can check that out. So how are we gonna achieve this? Couple of ways which provides interactivity in the email. One of them is Google AMP. Through Google AMP, we can provide all the interactivity in the email itself. For backend data submission and all, we'll be integrating Google AMP to the Salesforce. So we'll be talking about how Google AMP works, uh, how Salesforce works, how, sales, how you can expose the API. All the integration things we'll be talking about in series of videos. So stay tuned. That's it for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment it down below. I'll be happy to reply. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like button. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Till then, bye-bye. See you in the next video.